Breaking news, the Titans did in fact do something on day four of NFL free agency. They re-signed Nick Westbrook a Kenny. He stepped away from negotiations to try to test the open market and realized there really wasn't a spot for him. So he came back. Jim Wyatt broke the news on Twitter saying the Titans have agreed to terms on a one-year deal with wide receiver Nick westbrook Kinney. Also, defensive lineman Naquan Jones has signed his tender as an exclusive rights free agent. Nick westbrook Kinney, what has he done with Tennessee? He's been with them for about three years. These are his career stats. 66 receptions, under 1,000 yards, seven touchdowns, 13.7 average yards per catch. Look, this isn't a guy who is a, a weapon. He simply fills in and provides depth for the Titans wide receiver room, which we know they are lacking. So this is a good move to bring him back just to have some of those, um, some extra leeway here because they're struggling. They're struggling to figure out what is going on in this wide receiver room. What does this mean? What does re-signing Nick westbrook Kenny mean exactly what I just said. It's a depth move. It is to keep uh, some backup plans around. He, he can slide in where he's needed, but he won't be wide receiver two next to Traylon Burks or three. He's just simply somebody who who will fit in and kind of um, patch up some holes where, they're, where there are holes. Before we continue on and I tell you about how the wide receiver room still needs so much help, go down and hit the sub button. This news broke less than an hour ago. We're getting it to you. You're updated on everything going on. Do yourself the favor, hit the sub button. We keep you entertained. We keep you informed. There's no reason not to hit that button. The current state of the wide receiver room. Again, like I said, we're struggling here. They cut Robert Woods, who had just about 527 yards this past season, so didn't do too much damage. That was a cap move. They didn't tender Westbrook Akinney or Cody Hollister, but like I said, Westbrook Akinney did just re-sign. Cody Hollister has not. I don't know that he will. Very possible he does the same kind of thing that Westbrook Akinney did. Oh, I'm out here on the market. I'm realizing nobody really has a need for me. I'm going to stick with the Titans maybe a one-year deal. We don't know what happens to Cody Hollister. As of now, he's not been tendered, nor has he re-signed. And of course, you've still got Traylon Burks, Racy McMath, uh, Kyle Phillips. The problem is all three of those guys spent 2022 injured. So you're taking a risk of, okay, I've got some good receivers. Let's just fingers crossed, hope they're healthy. No, mm -mm, that's not going to cut it. You've got to bring somebody else in. Traylon Burks, you want him to go off this year. In his rookie year, you you really wanted him to do well, to come into Tennessee and maybe take the spot of A.J. Brown, who was traded away to the Eagles. But he didn't because of the injuries, the turf toe and the concussion. He had 33 receptions, 444 yards, one touchdown. He did average 13.5 yards per catch. But those stats have so much potential to be so much higher I think we see that in year two. I hope we see that in year two because you really need Traylon Burks to step up as wide receiver one this year. You're going to bring in some other guys, hopefully, hopefully, and we'll talk about the free agent targets that Rand Carthen could go out and sign in free agency, but you need Traylon Burks to be your wide receiver one. I think he goes off this year. I think uh, the first year was kind of a transition year, injury, just bad luck. <laughs> Let's hope that turns around in year two. Do you think Burks will go off in 2023? Let me know. Head down to the comment section. Type Y for yes. Type N for no. I think he will. I think he's got something to prove. He goes off, but maybe I'm wrong. Let me know what you think. Again, looking for him to go off in year two, but he can't do it by himself. You want him to be wide receiver one. Give him some help. You don't have much depth. You don't have much, um, many other weapons aside from Burks if he can stay healthy. You've got to bring in some help regardless of Westbrook Akinney being re-signed. Who can you sign an NFL free agency? Well, I'll give you 10 names, but I'm not going to say that these are the best options here. Let's start with OBJ. Listen up before you come at me for the injuries and we're not getting obj look he spent the entire 2022 rehabbing the acl tear 
There is a question on whether he can get back to his peak. You don't know, but there have been talks. There's interest uh, from the Giants, from the Cowboys. I haven't heard anything really from the Titans, but very possible. It's very possible. And again, if he can get back to where he was, that would be a great veteran weapon to bring into this receiver room. DJ Chark. Another guy that struggled to stay healthy the last few years. He hasn't played a complete season, which uh, isn't the greatest uh, news for an injury plague Titans team. But that would probably mean that he'd be cheaper, which is a good thing for the Titans. He's only 26 and he'd add much needed experience and a deep threat. He's fast. I like DJ Chark if he can stay healthy. Adam Thielen, older, released from the Vikings because of the cap number. I don't think he really fits into this receiver room. Let's see. Oh, McCole Hardman. And another one that is injury riddled. Didn't even get to suit up for the Super Bowl because of his injury. Underwent surgery. The groin issue might still linger. I don't think this is somebody you want to sign because of the injury problem. And of course, Darius Slayton, when he's healthy, this is a common theme, guys, the injuries are a problem. When he's healthy, he's reliable. He was a guy that Daniel Jones was able to count on in 2022, and he'd be a solid addition to the Titans. But I, again, you're, you got health concerns. Before I get to the next five, let me tell you about today's sponsor in Fanatics. You see this nice jersey on the screen? Yeah. It might be the only wide receiver jersey you have for a while. You should go out and get a Traylon Burks jersey because I'm calling it. He's going off this year. You want the jersey to rep him when he shows everybody that he's not playing. So head to Fanatics. Go to chatsports.com slash Titans jersey to get a Traylon Burks jersey and show off your new gear all throughout the offseason and during the 2023 NFL season. The next five. Again, don't come at me. These are still the guys on the market because receivers are a big need for a lot of teams right now. They're getting picked up one by one. Uh, we saw my guy who I was really hoping would end up in Tennessee, Paris Campbell, get signed by the Giants just a few hours ago. I was really upset about it, but you got to move forward. Who can you go get? Is Jarvis Landry a guy you want to get? Five-time Pro Bowler, started hot with the Saints last season, got injured, didn't come back the way he was before, ended the season on IR for an ankle injury. His last 1,000-yard season was in 2019. He missed 13 games last two years. I know you guys don't want to bring in somebody that is injury-ridden, so I'd cross him off the list. Julio Jones, Julio Jones, injury after injury after injury was that guy back in the day, uh, he might be cooked. Uh, I don't know this is the move you want to make either. Matt Collins. Matt Collins played well against Tennessee this past season. Titans did win, but Matt Collins put up a hell of a fight. He could bring the veteran experience, uh, not injury ridden. So that's the plus here. After all the guys we've gone through, this might be one of the only ones who doesn't have health problems severely. Marvin Jones, another guy who kind of just was solid for the Jags this past season. And then Nelson Aguilar, who might be a cheaper option, quick, uh, a little older, but I think he's got enough left in the tank to be a receiver number two or number three, which is really what you're looking for. Overall, what do you, so what do, you do in free agency? Because you're running out of options. You are. You're watching Alan Lazard go to the Jets, who we talked about coming here. You're watching Paris, Paris Campbell go to the Giants. And the longer you wait, the more guys that are going to get picked up, which make, makes me think that Rand Carthen is not looking for a receiver in free agency. Makes me think he might be looking to the draft to grab a receiver, which isn't a bad idea, except you're missing the veteran uh, experience there. You've got Traylon Burks. Traylon Burks hasn't played in the NFL, really, aside from – the few games he did play last season, he's not. He doesn't have the veteran experience. You draft a guy; he's got all the talent in the world. Again, he can't. He does not have the experience. I say, you go out and you get a receiver in free agency that can bring that veteran presence and leadership to this wide receiver room that is incredibly young and lacking in depth. You bring in a vet, have him be the leader, the teacher, and then you draft a young, speedy guy, because we know M Mike Rabel is all about speed. 
He has said it time and time again. He wants speed. He wants health. He wants athleticism. Go get that in the draft. Draft a veteran. I'm not opposed to DJ Chark. Again, injuries might be a problem. I think he could be a good pair with Traylon Burks. And if you go after somebody in the draft, I think that works out really, really well. Name a wide receiver you want the Titans to sign an NFL free agency. If I had to pick one off of the 10 I just named, I say DJ Chark just because when he is healthy, he flashes. He'd fit right in. He's got some veteran experience. Get somebody else in the draft to be a real weapon. Uh, but let me know if I missed somebody, if I didn't name somebody that you think should have been named, put it in the comment section. And finally, to round out the show, just some official news. Bud Dupree has officially been released. Now, we knew this move was coming. They had announced it, I believe, last week. But it is official now, which means the money can roll in. He can start going other places. Actual official move. Bud Dupree is no longer a Titan. While he was in Tennessee, here's some things he did. He first signed with Tennessee in 2021 free agency after being with the Steelers, who are reportedly interested in bringing him back to Pittsburgh. He played in 22 games over the past two seasons. There's your injury bug. Didn't play that much. Good guy, good player, just couldn't stay healthy between the hip this past season and some other injuries um, the season before that. In his time in Tennessee, he had 35 tackles, seven sacks, and 48 quarterback pressures. Again, good player, just can't continue to pay somebody that can't stay healthy. As we've seen with a lot of the guys that have been cut in the offseason, Taylor Lewan cut for the same reason, just can't stay healthy. Good player, lots of talent, absolutely beneficial to have on the roster, just money. Ben Jones, Robert Woods, Zach Cunningham, Randy Bullock, and now Bud Dupree. That is six guys cut during the offseason. Rand Carthen did a lot of them at the same time. I think it was four in one day. He was cleaning house to make room for something. I'm not really sure what this big move is that he's planning to make with all this money, but where do they stand with the money? Well, Bud Dupree being cut actually saves $9.4 million in the cap space. However, it adds $10.9 million to the dead money total. And now the Titans have the fifth highest dead money total with $36.8 million, which it's dead money. Every team has dead money. You just, you owe that money on the contract. Not great is what it is. Clear the cap space. Be able to pay the guys who are coming in. Do what you got to do. Again, Make sure to subscribe. We're going to have every move sent your way right as it happens. Again, this didn't even happen an hour ago. Nick Westbrook Akinney has re-signed, adding depth to the wide receiver room. There will sure, surely be more moves made. So make sure you hit that sub button so that you are updated with all things the Titans are doing during the offseason. As always, appreciate you for watching. We'll see you soon.